Hi everybody, I'm Florian, one of the developers of EasyFino and today I will give you a short introduction on how to install EasyFino using our Docker workflow. Everything that I will talk about can also be found online in our Read the Docs documentation under easyfino.readthedocs.io. Here we have an installation guide where we show our Docker workflow. Easyfino is designed for Ubuntu. So for today's tutorial, we assume that you have an Ubuntu machine running. And for our purpose, we will now go to one of our servers. So we are now at one of our servers and the first thing that we will do, we will check the requirements for setting up our Docker workflow. The first thing, so for sure, Docker has to be installed on your machine. You can check this by running docker minus minus version or also by running docker run hello minus world. And by doing so, you will get a short greeting message from Docker. The second thing, if you want to use GPU support, you have to check that you have a CUDA version, which is newer than 11.2. So you can do so by just typing NVIDIA minus SMI. And as we can see here, we have CUDA version 11.7, which is newer than 11.2. So for our purpose, everything is fine. So all the requirements, we have Docker, we have an appropriate CUDA version are fulfilled. So the next thing that we will do, we will first set up a directory where we want to um, yeah, integrate our whole stuff, add our repository and so on. So I'm going to create a new directory for that and I'm going to go into that directory. And the first thing we need to do is we need to clone our GitHub repository. So you can just copy this from our tutorial um, and we will first of all clone our repository. And as we can see here now, we have our ECFINO repository now cloned into our local machine. In our repository, we have a subfolder for the whole Docker setup. And within that subfolder, we have a Docker file and a Docker requirements txt. The Docker file um, has the whole commands to create the Docker image itself. And the requirements txt is basically the Python packages that we want to install. So the next thing we will do, we will create a Docker image based on that Docker file. And that's fairly simple. We just have to type Docker build. We want to tag it. So we want to give it a name um, that can be done with minus T. Our name is EP image and a dot. And by doing so, the whole building setup will start and we will create our Docker container which might take some minutes. So we will come back to our tutorial in some minutes and then we will check the outcome of our Docker image creation. See you soon. Okay, great. So now our Docker image was successfully built. In the end, you should see something like successfully built and successfully tagged. And we can check this again by running docker images and if we scroll up here with docker images we see our ep image which was created 20 seconds ago great so our image is now ready to run a container based on it um, there are several options on how to run a container and also options that you can use when running it um, we also provide links to the official Docker documentation in our Read the Docs documentation. So we really recommend to get familiar with Docker. 
But for our tutorial, we will use now some very important options. So the first is you need to type docker run minus it to run it interactively. With minus v, we, we can now mount some share into our docker container. So to exchange data between your machine and between the docker container. For our purpose, we will now um, uh, mount the directory tutorial in my home directory, which we just created. And now after the column, we will specify the directory in our container, which we will just call my home. If we want to restrict the CPUs that our Docker container can use, we can do so by minus minus CPU set minus CPU, CPUs, for example, the first two. If we want to use a GPU, we have to mount it. For example, here now the GPU, which is on, um, which is, um, has ID zero. And we can also give our container now a name with the option minus minus name, in our case EP container. And in the end, we also have to give the image um, which we want to use for running our Docker container. And if we now run this command, you should see some output like this. So we are now within our Docker container, as you can see here, root at um, this Docker container now. And if we now go to this my home directory, so to the directory which we um, shared, we can see here our EasyFino repository again. So the same as we have seen from outside of the container. Great. So that was basically all that you need to do to set up the Docker workflow for EasyFino. We provide another tutorial um, in which we will show you on how to run EasyFino using Docker. Uh, but for now, you're done with the setup. Um, see you soon in our other tutorial. Bye.